you're going to worship him, you, gotta not, you not only have to do it reverently and passionately, but the text says we have to learn how to do it prayerfully. Verse 23, it says, and he besought him greatly, saying, my little daughter lieth at the point of death, here it is, I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her that she may be healed and she shall live. The text says he, she, he besought him greatly. He, he besought him greatly and prayed to him about his daughter. Let me give you the principle. Here it is. Whatever your problem, learn how to take it to Jesus. Oh, well, whatever, whatever you're going through, you got to learn how to pray. Somebody say pray. If you need God's presence, somebody say pray. If you need God's power, somebody say pray. If you need God to move in your family's behalf, somebody say pray. Now watch this, whenever you pray, God will start moving. I said whenever you pray, the Lord will start moving. Look at verse 24. It says he prayed in verse 23, and in verse 24, Jesus went with him. Can I help somebody in this place tonight? If you got a situation that's too big for you, and you need to get the Lord involved, you don't do it by moaning and crying and complaining. Baby, you got to learn how to go down on your knee and tell the Lord, listen, I need you involved now. And when you learn how to pray, God will start moving. Is there anybody in this place that knows what I'm talking about. Has there ever been a time in your life when you were going through something and you needed God to show up? You felt like crying, but you had enough sense, enough spiritual gumption to fall down on your knees and go to the Lord in prayer and didn't the Lord move? Didn't he move in your family? Didn't he move in your career? Didn't he move in your education? Didn't he move in your financial situation? Tap three people and tell them the Lord will move if you pray. <laughs> 